Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change a defrost timer on your refrigerator and it's a really easy job. All you're going to need is a putty knife, a quarter inch nut driver, a small flat blade screwdriver, and a pair of needle nose pliers. Let me show you how we do it. To begin this repair, we'll start by opening the refrigerator door. And I suggest that you remove all the items on the top two shelves and remove the shelves as well to give yourself a little more room. And because we'll be working near electrical circuits, you should unplug the refrigerator as well. Now our next step will be to remove a single quarter inch hex head screw that holds the light shield in place. Pull down on that shield and straight back and set that aside. Next we're going to have to remove the cover for the air deflector at the back. And it's held in place with a couple of plastic tabs. So we need to tilt down and pull forward on that carefully. And then let it hinge down from the bottom because there are a couple of hooks in the bottom that set on two little tabs and then these hooks fit into those slots. So we'll set that aside. Next we can remove the ribbon cable that goes to the control at the back. There should be enough slack in that that you can just roll it off of the wheel at the back. And just let that hang there. Now this assembly is held in place with some plastic tabs that hook into the ceiling. So if you grasp it at the back and just carefully pull down on it, you disengage two of the sides. Once you've gained a little room there, we'll take a putty knife and carefully go in to the front and pry it down. There are some clips across the front that need to be disengaged. Use caution when removing that assembly. We don't want to damage these tabs. Well, that will allow us to lower that down and pull it forward. To disconnect two hooks at the back and we can disconnect the wire harness. Well, this will give us access to the defrost timer and with it mounted in the housing, we'll take our flat blade screwdriver and we can pry that connector away from the timer. And we can flip that assembly over and we'll remove the two quarter inch hex head screws that hold the timer to the housing. Once we remove the screws, we'll roll that over and lift the timer off from the back. Take our new defrost timer, set it into position with the male terminals facing towards the harness. And we'll reinstall the screws. Turn it over, reconnect the wire harness, make sure the screws are tight, we'll check that ribbon connector to make sure that it didn't dislodge itself from the control. There is an index tab on that control that's larger than the smaller one, so make sure that it lines up with the cable. Now we can set the assembly back up into place. Engage the two tabs at the back into the openings in the ceiling. Reconnect the harness. 
carefully snap it into place. Now with the housing in place, we'll next loop that cable over the control at the back. And there is an index tab on it as well. Make sure that we have that lined up properly. And once you have the cable looped over that wheel, make sure that we line it up properly. There is an index tab on it as well, a larger tab that will line up with a larger opening in the cable. Check the operation of it. Okay, now put the cover back in place. Okay, we're going to hook those two bottom tabs in first. Then snap it carefully into place. Make sure it snaps securely into place. Next, we'll install the light shield. There's four hooks, two on each side, that will line up with slotted openings in this housing. Them in and then pull the shield towards you. We install that quarter inch screw. And lastly, make sure that the housing is snapped into the ceiling on both sides. We can reinstall our shelves. and our repair is complete. I told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching and good luck with your repair.